Hello to all students. I hope you are doing fine. This is Professor Masood Fuzel. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss life cycle of Paxenia. As you know that Paxenia is a parasitic fungus, which is commonly known as rust fungus. It is called rust because its color is just like rust, which is orange, reddish orange color, which is usually found in on the surface of the iron. So its spores are rusty in color. That is why we call it rust fungus. So today we are going to discuss the complete life cycle, which is a little bit complicated, but not difficult. Uh, I hope uh, you, it will make sense and uh, we will discuss different stages. First of all, we are going to discuss what is the scientific name of Paxenia. The scientific name of Paxenia is Paxenia graminis tritici. And uh, the usual parasites of this uh, Paxenia fungus are wheat, wheat corn, barley, rye uh, and uh, barberry. So these are plants are mostly affected. Usually this plant uh, has two hosts simultaneously. That is why these are known as heterosis rust so we are going to discuss its life cycle in detail so there are uh, i have divided this uh, uh, life cycle into five different stages first of all we are going to discuss uridinial stage then telial stage basidial stage pycnial stage and then last achelial achelial stage so we are going to discuss them one by one so first of all we are going to discuss uridinial stage Suppose there is a farmer who sows the seeds of wheat in November and the month of April, the crop has flourished. But when we look at the crop, the plants of the wheat, their leaves and their stems, they contain pigmented areas, reddish pustules. So I have taken a small piece of leaf from a wheat crop right over here in the diagram you can see green color on this green surface i can see small pustules in the in the form of rows these are known as uridia because of uridinial stage these are reddish in color just like the rust on the surface of iron so these uh, uh, reddish pustule appears in the month of march so where these spores comes from we will discuss uh, at the end of the cycle. So anyhow, we want to know that what are these reddish spots. So I have taken a spot from the surface of the leaf right over here. So this is a row of uh, spores which is known as uridia. So to discuss it, to dis study it in more detail, I have taken a small section of leaf and studied it under microscope. These green cells are the mesophyll cells or epidermal cells of the leaf or the stem. These cells contain hyphae of the fungus which is known as rust fungus, Paxenia fungus. Fungi penetrate its root like hostoria into the cells to obtain nutrition and with help of nutrition they multiply rapidly inside the leaves and stems and form a stalked structure which are globose in the form and have Two nuclei by nucleate these spores are known as uridospores usually these are formed on the surface of leaf or stem in the form of rose that is why we call it uridinial stage so we want to look, know that what are these uridospores i have taken a uridospore right over here to see the internal structure of a uridospore it is composed of a stalk with which by with help of which this stalk it attaches with the uh, uridosori. Uridosori is a whole fruiting body inside the leaf or inside the stem where it produces spores that is known as uridosori or uridosorium. Just above the stalk there is a globose structure which is known as uh, uridospore. It contains cytoplasm, it contains two nuclei which are known as N plus and N negative which is known as dicaryotic hyphae. It has two layers. One inner layer is known as intine, while the outer layer is known as exine. Exine contains small spines on it. 
दैट इज़ वाई एक्जाइन इज़ नाउन एज एक्नुलेट और एचिनुलेट एक्जाइन बिकॉज इट कंटेन स्मॉल स्पाइंस ऑन द सर्फेस इट आल्सो हैज जर्म ट्यूब राइट ओवर हेयर एंड राइट ओवर हेयर यू कैन से जर्म वॉल दीज पोर्स वैन प्रोड्यूस्ड दे कम आउट फ्राम द सर्फेस ऑफ द लीफ एंड द स्टेम ऑफ द प्लांट एंड डिस्पर्स बाई विंड एंड फॉल्स ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ another wheat plant where they germinate so let's look at the next condition of this spore which is germinating this is a germinating on a new host plant this is the outer layer which contain ichines intine exine and germ pore from germ pore new hyphae is producing germinating which contain dikaryotic nuclei along with cytoplasm so in this way more and more spores are produced and more and more wheat plants are infected by these spores so this is the completion of first stage of paxinia fungus which is known as uridinial stage now let's move on to the next stage which is known as telial stage now two months has been passed march april in the month of may when we look at the surface of the plant so i have taken a small piece of leaf or stem from a wheat plant this also contain small pustules small scars which are reddish orange color these are known as telium or telia this these are produced in the month of may so i have taken a small piece of telium from right over here from this leaf right over here so this is a teliotosauri which is a fruiting body in which spores are going to produce these are host tissue in which fungus hyphae is penetrating with help of astoria when hyphae mature they produce a fruiting body in which spores are produced spores are elongated oval shape which are which have a septa and contain two nuclei these spores are known as teliotospores which are covered by paraphyses which are steroidal hair and on the surface there is a epidermal layer of the host tissue teliotospores contain two nuclei separated by a septum so i have taken a small uh, spore teliotospore right over here to to discuss its structure it has a stalk with of help of which it attaches with the teliotosauri it contain uh, tapering ends and oval body which contain two cells which contain each nucleus there are also apical germy pore and lateral germinal germinal pore and these pores uh, break out from the surface of the leaf or the stem and falls on the soil and where they become dormant for until next spring arrive so this these two stages uridinial stage and telial stage completes in the wheat plant and uh, in this condition at the at the end telial spores are produced which are dormant spores and falls on the soil and wait for the new host to arrive and so that they can infect their body now next to the stage which is known as basidial stage this stage will start in the next year in spring when these spores which are known as teliotospores they start to germinate because they contain two cells with two nuclei and two uh, hyphae are produced from one from uh, apical germinal pore and one from lateral germinal pore hyphae are produced these hyphae grow and form a structure which is known as basidium these basidiums produced a sterigma on the surface of sterigma produce spores which are known as sporidia or basidiospores which are haploid and produced as a result of meiosis these spores germinate in the barberry plant which is the second host barberry plant which is usually known as barberus vulgaris uh, these spores arrive on the surface with the help of wind they arrive on the surface of leaf and enter the leaf through stomata and penetrate inside the leaf surface just below the upper or lower epidermis inside the leaf these are the teliotospore they are going to start now the next stage after germination is going to be pycnial stage which is the uh, which comes after basidial stage so this is the teliotospores which have constriction there are two cells the two cells are binucleate positive and negative positive and negative karyogamy has not taken place now the karyogamy is going to takes place right over here in this diagram both nuclei jo hai merge with each other and they form a diploid nucleus this diploid nucleus start to germinate and produced a hyphae 
this hyphae is known as epibasidium and in this epibasidium the cells divide by me meiotically and produce four cells four nuclei as you can see in this diagram this is a epibasidium containing four nuclei two positive two negative in the same way from this cells there is an epibasidium which contain four nuclei two positive and two negative after meiosis in the next stage these hyphae become sterigma uh, on the surface of sterigma spores are produced which is known as basidiospore so this stage is known as basidial stage just after this stage these spores enters in the mesophyll cells of leaf and form a fruiting body which is known as pycnidium as you can see in this diagram so this will be the next stage pycnial stage in in the in this stage if you look at this diagram which is i have taken from a leaf of barberry plant this is a pycnidium which is formed just below the upper epidermis it is a a uh, cone shaped structure which is formed right over here this is known as pycnidium in this pycnidium there are these are green color cells are uh, host cell tissue from where they get nutrition their hyphae divide and divide and multiply there are two types of hyphae one is going to produce spermatium and other are going to produce uh, receptive hyphae so as you can see in this diagram this hyphae is known as receptive hyphae or hypha and in the center these are hyphae are going to produce spermatia which are spores so when they divide they produce spores which are known as pycnidiospores or spermatia these pycnidiospores are released from an opening which is known as ostiole which is produced on the surface of the uh, barberry leaf so on the barberry leaf these uh, spermatium attaches with the receptive hyphae where their nucleus attach with the nuclei of the receptive hyphae and they form another uh, they are going to form another stage which is known as uh, achial stage so first of all there are now two happening first of all there are spores which are produced by pycnidium uh, pycnidium which are known as pycnidium uh, spores or spermatia which are released from the ostiole and dispersed by the wind and they can reach other plants of the barberry leaves and some spores also attach with the receptive hyphae of the same pycnidium and they form another structure which is known as achidial cups so now we are going to move to the next diagram in this diagram when we look at the surface of a barberry leaf it contain a small round cups like structure which is known as achidia cups these achidia cups are formed by the fusion of spermatium with receptive hyphae these achidial cups contain spores which are known as achidiospores which are and uh, binucleate and filled with uh, cytoplasm and nucleus these achidiospores uh, are released from these cups and they wait for a uh, new wheat plant to infect them so in this way life cycle is completed but in the next diagram i am going to show a little bit more about the structure of uh, pycnidium in this diagram you can see the cross section of a leaf upper epidermis lower epidermis mesophyll cells this is a pycnidium right over here i have described already and some of the cells which form sper uh, the spermatium which attach with receptive hyphae they produce a structure which is known as peridium peridium contains spores which are known as achidiospores this is known as achial stage during uh, achial stage spores are produced which is known as achi achidiospores these achidiospores upon maturation are released from the surface of the leaf and dispersed by wind and reach to the next wheat plant to complete the life cycle so in this way we have discussed the life cycle of paxinia which is uh, composed of five different stages uridinial stage pileal stage basidial stage pycnidial stage and achial stage i hope it makes sense and uh, uh, i'll see you in the next lecture until then bye